Hi everyone, my name is Todd Hoffer. I'm a functional consultant with Encore Business Solutions. I uh, specialize in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations, uh, supply chain management, and production control. Uh, just wanted to take a quick moment to uh, highlight and showcase some of the new capabilities within the grid that uh, Microsoft has released for uh, released for private preview. Um, I think it'll be some really good features that will be coming out soon and I, I'm really looking forward to it. So let's just kind of jump into that real quick. One of the first things I want to talk about is uh, the ability to copy and paste. So this I think is going to be a fantastic new option. If we see here on my uh, unit prices here, let's just say um, for some reason I want to update it real quick and I don't want to go line by line and uh, 10 key and down arrow. Maybe I just want to do 10 key and that's it, right? So let's just, uh, if we look at my old values, it's 575, 375, and 250, and let's just create some new values here. So let's say uh, we're getting a price reduction, so 550, 350, and $2, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these values here and go back into the system. And wherever I start from is going to be where we start to paste. And we control V. And you can see there the values entered in. I'll go ahead and click save. There we go. We have our new values entered in from the copy paste. So cool functionality. I think that it's going to be really cool uh, when it comes back, when it comes out for everybody to utilize. Uh, next on the list that I want to go over was the ability to uh, total columns. So now I think that everybody's, you know, uh, all functional consultants has probably heard this at some point. I wish that we could just total these. How come it can't be like a uh, Excel, you know? Uh, here we're going to, I see that I want to total my net. I just right click on it and total this column. And real quickly, you see down in the footer, I have this column is now totaled and the total is $6,050. Uh, you can see over here that it totaled this one also. It uh, must have been a leftover for me playing around and I didn't clear it out. So uh, you can see here that I can just quickly X out that. And if I wanted to uh, total these columns, I can click on that plus sign as well. So plus, plus, you can see how many different units, uh, quantities of units I have or the unit price total. doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you can see that it just quickly totals it for us. Another uh, neat feature available to us is the ability to group. So let's just say I have a purchase order or movement journal, something like that, and I want to simply double check to make sure I don't have any duplicate entries. Uh, at a glance, you can see, you, uh, I'm sure that nobody here is a, a dummy. I have a duplicate. Okay, I get that. However, I want to, I, my, my example was is I have a, a some kind of journal or purchase order with multiple lines. So let's say I can't quickly identify it and I right click and group this column. You can see quickly it uh, grouped the columns and I see, oh, here we go, this 17-4 item, I have two of those. So I did enter in a duplicate by accident and I can go through and I can uh, correct my error. And to ungroup, just simply right click and ungroup it. Real simple, I uh, again, neat features that I'm looking forward to uh, utilizing within the grid. Uh, last, uh, one of the last items here is um, the ability to type ahead in the system. I don't really have a, dem uh, a demonstration built for this, so I'll just kind of talk through it. Uh, previously before when we were working within the grid, we have to wait for the system to catch up to our cursor. You know, we're typing and we want to tab through and we have to wait for the system to recognize the, the the values that are entered before we can move on. Microsoft has gone ahead and said, you know what, we're going to allow you to continue to type even though the system hasn't caught up. And we're going to add a new column to the to the right of everything that's, uh, that's going to have a status available for us to tell us you know, kind of where we're at in our, our synchronization process. First status is going to be blanked. Uh, blank is good. That means that we've saved successfully. The next status is going to be process pending. Pretty simply said, it hasn't been saved yet. You're moving too fast and things are still trying to catch up. Next state is the invalid state. This means that uh, the system was trying to validate the information or the data you entered 
and uh, something was missing or something was wrong. Maybe the vendor is not authorized or you're missing a warehouse or a site or something, uh, something like that. In order for the system to validate that information, uh, you're going to have to correct that error, or that warning, uh, before the system can move on. The final state would be paused, and of course, if there was a, an invalid state, the subsequent lines would be paused, uh, waiting for you to correct that, uh, that invalid state before it can move on. Then the last uh, thing that I wanted to go over was the uh, mathematical expressions available to use in the grid form now. Uh, this is something I think that uh, is, everybody will agree is probably a good thing. Um, and it's going to be very similar to something like uh, Excel. So if I look at here, um, unit price is $2. Let's maybe not do this one. Let's do $250 here for this uh, quantity of four item. So let's just uh, real quick, maybe we got uh, a 5% discount. Well, in the grid, we're going to treat it similar to Excel. Enter an equal sign. 250 times 0.95, oops, my fingers won't cooperate with me today, 250 times 0.95, and it calculates the total for us. These uh, mathematical expressions can be real simple. The, you know, we're not getting crazy with our, our formulas. We're just simply adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing. So if you wanted to maybe, uh, you knew what the cost was and you wanted to add in a margin or something like that, or you wanted to simply deduct it and you didn't want to pull out your tech calculator, you would now have the ability to do it within the grid. Anyway, these are some of the neat capabilities that are coming out within the grid system. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, like I said, probably multiple times here, and uh, I hope you are too. Uh, keep, stay tuned with uh, us here at Encore so we can continue to bring you great content and uh, Microsoft updates as they come out. Thank you.